something that most people don't think about in trading. It's the role of luck. It's too easy to dismiss luck in trading and everybody looks at trading from the perspective of they want absolutes, they want certainty, they want to know what's going to happen. And people don't think about luck enough. They don't recognize that luck can play a big part. That in no matter how good your plan is, what you think should happen, you can get unlucky. Things cannot go your way. And that's one of the things that people try and get rid of by trying to create certainty. And the, the problem there is you're fighting a losing battle. You cannot create certainty. And you can't get away from luck. But equally, one of the most important things people need to remember with luck is luck's 50-50. For every lucky event, there is an unlucky event. And for somebody, an event is lucky, and for others, it is unlucky. Right. What you've got to remember is you are trading something that is organic, something that is going on constantly. Anything can happen at any point in time. And the other aspect of it is that you are trading with other people. Other people have different views to you. If nobody else had a different view to you, then you would never be able to put a trade on. Because if you want to buy, you need someone with a different view. Somebody who wants to sell. Therefore, naturally, there is always a situation where the market could not do what you think it's going to do. So no amount of searching for certainty will ever give you what you want. Because there's always going to have to be somebody on the other side of your trade. Therefore, there is always that aspect of a different interpretation. The other thing for people to remember as well is luck's 50-50. Everybody fears the unlucky situation. Everybody fears that trade that goes completely wrong. Yeah, they buy it and a stop goes off. They buy it and some really bad news comes out. All of these things. And people get really worried about this. But like I say, it's 50-50. For every time that you've bought and a market has suddenly gone against you for an unknown reason, the same will have happened and you've bought and it's shot on side. The only difference is you don't remember the ones that go on side because that's what you were looking to, to happen anyway. What you didn't look for was that event that caused it to go on side so quickly. So you forget that because you get what you expected. People remember the ones that go against them because it's not what they expected and it caused them to lose money. So they feel cheated and the bad luck seemingly goes against them. Luck's 50-50. And what this also means <clears throat> is that people get influenced by the result of certain things as well. We'll talk about resulting in a minute. The good thing about luck in trading is it's not absolute. Trading is never absolute. And so they don't have to have the same PL impact. You can be unlucky. You can get that bad beat, that situation that should work and it suddenly goes against you. But in many cases, you can actually turn that over and still make money out of it. You have known there were people who were short um, on the Pfizer vaccine news. There were people who were short into Fed interest rate cuts. They can turn the trade over. You don't have to take the full loss and you can flip that piece of information over and you can trade it the other way and you can make some money out of it. The people who are long into those, wonderful. You got that slice of luck, but the people that really make the money are the ones who realize when the luck has gone their way. When that little bit of something that's out of the ordinary that isn't normal has come their way, they take that opportunity. They absolutely nail it. So don't get sucked into this idea of resulting. And what resulting is all about is the idea of looking at what happened and deducing that this must be good. You got long, trade worked because of something else that you don't understand, went miles on side and you think, wonderful, this has worked great. That's resulting. You can never replicate that. I'll give you an example. The, the luckiest trade that I've ever had, Complete luck. Um, I was trading oil, beginning of career, 
five minute flag and I thought, right, I'll sell a one lot on that flag. Got around about a 30, 40 tick target. Brilliant. Flag breaks, market starts to drop down. I'm thinking, great, this trade's looking good. This is going according to what I thought would happen. For some reason, and I still don't know what the reason was, the market then continued down and then dropped 100 ticks. And before I could work out where it had gone to, it dropped another 100 and then another 100. And so from a trade that I thought I was going to get 30 to 40 ticks out of, at one point I was 700 ticks on side. That's not for good trading. That is not because I'd come up with some brilliant idea. I played a simple five minute flag with an expectation of a move. And I got that move. But in reaching the 30 to 40 tick target that I was looking for, the market also ran another 650 ticks from there. That's complete luck. I've never replicated that in any market since. And the simple reason is that was total luck. And that's what I mean by resulting. I can't say that trading every five minute flag in oil is a brilliant idea. All I can say is that for once, you got lucky on that trade. But equally, there's been unlucky trades. There's been trades where you've got into a position, and I've been in positions, and the market has, a piece of news has come out, ping me offside. And whilst I know that other people have made, made great money on that news, I've managed to get out and reverse the trade, but really have just recovered the loss or made a little bit of money, when really I feel that I could have had a lot more. But that's not for me for being robbed, that's just bad luck that the trade didn't work out for me and it cost me before I was able to make something on it. And this happened yesterday. <clears throat> the important thing is to understand that this is bad luck and you then have to take that information and do something with it. This is a trader's performance from yesterday. I can't show you the, the P&Ls, but on a piece of, of news, a news change yesterday, big drop in P&L and back up. Now, from a resulting point of view, you'd look at that and go, well, that was a bad trade, completely messed that up, and you got lucky to get it back. Well, on an individual basis, you might be able to say that. You might be able to look and say, right, well, this trader got it wrong, and that was their mistake. They interpreted it wrong, they got it wrong. However, when you look at the entire group, you see the same thing. Everybody got unlucky on the same trade. The reason that you can come to this conclusion, again, go in on the basis of probability, everyone did the same thing. Everyone lost in the same market doing the same thing. Now, from a probabilistic base basis, it's unlikely that a large number of traders are all going to do the same thing and all get it wrong because they've completely misinterpreted it. So on that basis, you can conclude that this was probably an unlucky event. It was bad luck that what everybody thought should happen didn't happen because of some other reason and everybody lost on it. And that's unfortunate. But that information can still play out because throughout the rest of the day, people recovered. And the reason they recovered is because they still took on that information and asked themselves, right, well, what does this mean? What's the impact of it and how can I trade this? And this is the trade that people were looking at in oil. This is the, the comments around Russia restricting supplies of gas, so energy to start with. So everyone goes for oil because that's been the one to trade. And the market flicks up and rips back on people. Everybody takes the same trade on, it goes wrong. Oil then trades sideways and throughout the rest of the afternoon does actually drift higher. The S&P trading this as a risk trade as opposed to an energy trade does from that same point do what you would expect and continues to come off. So this is the important thing to take from this that you can be unlucky. And rather than dwelling on that and looking at this as, oh, it was a bad trade because I did this and it didn't work and I got a bad result, you can look at this and go, okay, that didn't work. And always ask yourself, if I was given that same information again, what would I do? Chances are you would do the same thing. That's the judgment as to whether a trade is good or not. It's not about the result 
and accept that sometimes the result is just purely down to luck. And luck ultimately is a situation where the least probable outcome actually happens. But that's the point. It's the least probable. It doesn't mean it won't happen and therefore it must at some point happen. And so make sure you're always considering that. If something goes wrong, ask yourself, with that information, would you, should you have done anything different? If you should have done something different, then you can adapt and you can work out what you should have done differently and change that for next time. But if on that information, you cannot see why you should have done anything different, then you can put that down to luck and accept that sometimes the things that you don't expect to happen do happen. And that's unfortunate. People always remember stuff like this in trading, yet people try and play for luck in other environments. People play the lottery, which is entirely based on luck. And you can't do anything about that either. You can't improve your result on the lottery. It's all down to luck. But people play for that in many walks of life. Yet in trading, people always look at things as being bad luck or unlucky. Sometimes, yeah, they are unlucky. But you just got to ask yourself, should, would I do that in the future? Don't change something because the idea didn't work this time. I'll wrap it up there, guys. Make sure you're thinking about luck. And if you get that slice of luck in your favor, take advantage of it. I'll wrap it up there. Have a good rest of your day.